Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Common Rider Fours Elect States. This is from M FMCS, the Fours Module Chain Series. This is from Bandai, and it's a simpler series. It's not like Bigma. It's not like SH Figure Arts. So the figure is very reminiscent of late 90s figures, and I'll show you here when we get this. So it's a very basic, basic figure. It still has about 18 points of articulation. Uh, the figure itself has a few extras here, so it has a few modules, like a chainsaw module. Billy the Rod, and as of course there's Common Rider 4s back in the day. I got all the figures back in 2011. This is a... Actually, from 2011, I think I can see the copyright. Made in China, of course. There it is. Bandai, made in China. Awesome. Did I show you everything? Yep. Fours module chain series. So that's all six sides of the box. So let's go ahead, get right into it. Now, as I mentioned, the figure has that very 90s vibe. Head is, looks like it's in a ball joint, so it moves up and down. So you got that. Ball, actually swivel on the shoulder. I wish it was a ball joint, so it goes two swivels there. Bicep swivel, single joint on the elbow. Again, very 90s. Swivel on the wrists, and it actually has a few points of articulations on the hands. Uh, two, as a matter of fact. I'll show you on this one since it's easier, so you see that. So, no thumb, so it's not too bad. No, it does have a swivel on the waist, very good. Ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, single jointed knee. Has two swivels on the ankle, and that does cause some posing problems because it's harder to stand because of that. So, you got a swivel there and up and down. So, okay, I guess. 18 points of articulation, not too bad. I like the detail in here with the belt. Like the elect states, the plastic here on the cells, I believe that's what they are. Again, don't watch Cowan Rider 4s, so don't know too much about it. Very basic from the back, not much molding detailing. Detailing on the wrists. Which is good because that's where he hold his camera. So he got power packs and all that. So not too bad. Uh, I like the symbols here on the shins. And it's good for the other module. So it does come with a few extras and I'm going to point that out here. So you got your camera module, Billy the Rod. The hopping module and a chainsaw module. Billy the Rod is actually an elect... What do you call that? Not elect state, but yeah. Elect module. So... These actually do attach. Let me start with the camera module first. Obviously, this slot right here has the slots right there. So all they do is just made up like that. And where's the visor? Normally, you can see that. I do like the clear eyes here. That is translucent. So you got that bug eye. And the face, as you can see, not too bad. Not like the Figma. So I'm going to tell you that these reduce. They cost 40% less for a reason. It's like for s smaller kids. Okay, I can't get the pose on the box just right because you can see right here he's trying to do that. I can't get that. So maybe, there we go, something to that effect. So that's the camera module. Billy the Rod is a baton. And he can hold it just fine. And I like the fact that they actually made it so you can go ahead and smack somebody with that. All right, pretty good. The hopping module is strange. It actually, you just fit it over his foot right here. And it slides into that right here. And it actually hops. There's a little projector thing. And, yeah, it's silly. Why on earth would you want to do that? Yeah. There's got to be a more effective means of transportation. But I do like that it has... Two separate colors of fuchsia red, whatever you want to call it. So it's not bad. Silly gimmick, but what can you do? Last, of course, and not least, is the chainsaw module, which you put on the foot. And just slide it in. And there you go. So yeah, you can do a chainsaw. Now, I wish 
And this is one thing that these figures do not have is they don't have a stand. So I got a nice little Figma stand. I wish I could pose them as such and it would be neat. But the Figma joint does not fit into any of these little slots very well. So, I mean, I'd like to stand them up. I really would, but, you know, I guess in a bid to keep them cheap, you save a lot of money. But here's the best part. You can get these relatively cheap on Amazon. I saw it for like 12 bucks. So, yeah, that's with shipping if you have Amazon Prime. So these are really cheap budget. And for that, it's not bad. It's not bad for what it is, you know. So with that, go ahead, buy it. I recommend it for what it is. Not bad for 12 bucks. Yeah, if you pay a little bit more than that, sorry. But here it is with the size comparison with Megatron. He's slightly bigger. He's like a six inch figure. So. And with my girl Samus, which I should do a review. Okay, as you can see, definitely doesn't have the same build as Samus or quality control. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll catch y'all next time.